Hey followers, I uh, wanted to give you a, a video of what I ran into a couple of weeks ago on my caravan trailer. Um, aren't too many videos out uh, on these caravan trailers, I mean, other than the manufacturer. Um, it's a, actually a pretty decent trailer. A couple of things, you know, I've done is I've removed that swing pin and I've replaced it with bolts and uh, I ran a bead of weld up here and of course I've welded all my nuts shut. I do use uh, the pack lock locks up front for the shackle locks, but the reason for this video is uh, the fender. I uh, hit a speed bump and I shattered my fender as you can see. Well, really no, my uh, fat butt cracked at first and then when I hit the speed bump it just shattered it and was hanging loose. The new uh, fender is on, um, I had to order it from trailer source or something I'll post a link came from Delaware all the way to Colorado but the purpose of this video is to show you why it cracked and if you have one of these plastic fenders even if you have one of the Fulton felt fenders uh, you should really reinforce this thing so if you flip the fender over as you can see all you have is these two holes right here and they're sitting on a one inch piece of metal strip that's actually uh, bolted. Let's see if we can get a view. And well, you can kind of see that strip right there. The problem is when you're standing and using these as a step, you're putting all your weight on a little strip. Um, even the reinforcing ribs here aren't enough. So get a piece of aluminum plate. This is 160 thousandths. Um, it's four by six. Cut it. Drop it drill the two holes to match and when you drop the fender in the plate will go between the fender and that metal strip as you can see so just now when you're stepping on it you're actually kind of distributing your weight I did all four pieces cost me twenty dollars the fender was actually thirty dollars cost me thirty dollars to ship it um, I believe this is the same fenders you can get from e-trailer for the same price as well. And, you know, if you have a, if you break a fender in these things, and if you, if you are replacing plastic for plastic, something to, uh, you know, recommend. Again, it's a four by six piece of a uh, plate, uh, quarter inch. This is 160 thousandths, and you'll cut it. You'll match drill just like that with the existing holes and the bolts right in.